Ông quên cho Ông dùng ra cả một to cái tâm lạc ca này Thì xa mạc ca Thì nơi Thật rực đi Dùng nâng to cơ xa mạc ca Đặt tổ khai cầm Xa xây Cái sản bậc tạm Các bọn Xa tuổi vì xa rạp rực Đủ rầy thay cục thí là rì ca Vì xa thân là khiếp Vào tâm yên áo Vào tâm yên thị kì Nâng bọc cô đài Là trời bỏ tự sẽ đạp được khai cầm nơi Phật Nhi hay nâng bà nhà tiền lái để miên và tân bà miên nâng nồng nồng phê này đồng đà ca tạm đà ca còn lồng nhọt Xong cực lục thiến xong rạp xạm đà ca ngày ní cực hiện kỳ tiền ơ nơi riêng đây ní miên vọt tầm miên xong cọt xong cọt đài lại lộn nguồn chí miên vọt tầm miên nơi nông bằng tộc không khuôn đại nơi khang bị căng cám và tốp sạm nà cà ní tam sẽ gây xâm lại ở bờ ao chuẩn bị ra sàn nấm bông đại mùa hè bảy hai sáu cấp hiệp nơi pe bạc ní ao chuẩn bị ra nông bằng to đạp khay cám sạ xây sydney sandberg tam địa propon sao tuốt pi sa rạm rỉ hai sạ xây rụng ní ban triềm khuôn ruồi chít sai xâm lập cà nó khay cám phòng đài chậm nay nơi pe rồi xía nhưng nông bằng to đạp khay cám nghệ chuẩn niến châm sốt thi ra hà nội ngày ní miền sạ xây một rong mười rụm đại miền hà sơn niếm thi cw bảy mươi rưỡi học sốt ram sạ xây ní ban mình chạy thá tam sự mặt phía đại cọt ải đắng cứ cọt mình miền cho chấm nóng nhiệt lò hết rồi nhiệt côn chỉ mồi nằm trên chọc chọc chẳng pì rụm rồi bịa kĩ đam mình đang rọt bạ về ní nam muối đại tự ban tự tu scon được nông được đây nít tì hay cọt ban thôi sầm bọt ruồi háo nơi chấm pô mộc lục ta động bóng đáy ca pít ngày tì pram khai mít tôn á chăn pì pon động bảy sầm mọt côn lục tiền chấm điểm số tổng chi lục mấy tỷ nếu ông Long Pil thuê sạc khay cam xã xây Sydney Sydney Scan Bird này lục nuôn chia còn những xóm thuê sạc đầy bằng phư ông Pi Panca chấm liệt với chi chôn tranh bị ti công niên niên những bị xét bị ti công không bình là hai xóm ca này nhà Pi lục bình thiên địa Pi Pi Na các bạn này bắt tay nông địa Pi đã sạc khay cam rồi bỏ lục Sydney Skinberg ngày nắng rực sai từ tam hoa côn. Hoa côn này cái phần đó phần miền này. Số số đấy thì lục Sydney Skinberg. Good evening, Your Honor. Xong chụp nhập xưa lục bát thiên. Lúc sẵn bác cà phê Lúc đẹp đó là khai cam cà phê mình sẽ mến mình là bánh hà lũng bạ Rồi có bánh hà Với cà lãng tế nơi khang lúc ấy nó Chúng lại ảnh miễn tế lúc bởi thiên Khi nhóm kết thật nhóm ảnh đơn ngầm phí nơi tế vị thị cho bà lỗ hay khi nhóm mình miễn bánh hà vậy thế bà ở con hay chỉ bắt đầu này ông chỉ biết tầm bắt đầu bây giờ chuyển từ cầm đầm nàng thắp bình nhã nâng bây giờ vì nó mốc đầm nàng đầm nàng tàu ni để miền địa phê trong cả số đỉnh đầu nhập vô và xạ xây sân đi scan bắc mùi vẹn sạm là cà bực ni tiệt hay có thông chỉ biết hôm nay thà ta một tour phần miền cứ miền bảy hà bình định tôi ở phí cà phê bạ nông cạn quay rớt và chấm nói đây là phía kỳ bàn đỏ trăng là mấy dụ đánh đau cho cuộc quật Cô cả này dưới của hành trả lệ yếu ăn tí Cả mưa lưng một tuần tì Nhưng cô đã cua bởi chả ná nâng cầm nọt đó là chấm nói Bọn tốt ở rưu cầu cả thạc khánh này Ai cả xa để dùng phong là mấy con thằng nghì Nông cả xoay rớt hay nâng mưa tuần Nâng bài trả lời tuần Chúng tôi xâm đua đại xua mà Xong chơi Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. Good morning, Council. Very good morning, or good evening to you, Mr. Shamberg. And thank you for turning to answer the questions and assist the court. 
Just by way of a general roadmap, um, I'm going to ask you uh, more questions this morning about the evacuation of the city, the events you describe in your diary with respect to the searches for Khmer Republic officials, um, and then we will move on to the events uh, that you observed while staying in the French Embassy. And lastly, your trip to Phnom Penh towards Thailand. Uh, before I uh, start with uh, those topics, um, I just want to ask you a couple of questions about the diary, which, in fairness, I should have started with yesterday. Um, the diary covers the period from January the 4th to May the 3rd of 1975, um, and of course is a day-by-day -day account. Um, can I ask you first, uh, when, was that, uh, when was this information recorded by you? The, uh, my editors asked me uh, early on in that year to write the diary. Until after I came out uh, of we were released and then we went to uh, Bangkok and, and Thailand. Uh, and, uh, the, and it has never been published because my stories that I wrote immediately after my uh, freedom are most of the same ground. So it was not necessary to be published, but I kept the uh, uh, text uh, 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 in my diary. Uh, did, did you take uh, any notes uh, during uh, the period uh, that, that the diary covers? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. My notebooks are filled with lots of things that didn't get in the newspaper because it wasn't necessary. But uh, I thought in the diary it would be useful. And, and did you use those notes uh, in preparing the diary? Yes, absolutely. And just one more question uh, on, on uh, your work. Uh, um, the diary is very detailed. The information that we have in, in documents before the court um, indicates that you were awarded the Pulitzer Prize uh, in 1976. Uh, can you tell the court very briefly uh, what that uh, prize was awarded for? Uh, it was awarded for foreign reporting uh, and uh, uh, by my uh, assistant and brother, Because without us, they would not be able to the, the work that I did. So when you say um, for work done at great risk, does that relate to your work in, in Cambodia or elsewhere? With reference to the fact that I stayed behind when the embassy in America left on, I think it was April 12th, uh, the uh, the the rest of the, of the uh, 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 Thank you. Uh, and, uh, and Dithpran chose to stay. The, uh, we sent his family out in the evacuation, and his family uh, is still flourishing now uh, in America. Thank you. Uh, thank you for those uh, answers. I'm going to move on now to the topics that I uh, outlined earlier. So returning to uh, the images of the evacuation which you depict in your diary, uh, a few additional aspects of the event uh, I'd like to turn to now. Um, 
you describe at several points in the diary um, looting or shots. And just by way of an example, um, and for everyone's benefit, I will read one representative uh, quote and then ask you to expand for us. Uh, this is in the diary, uh, document number E236 slash 1 slash 4 slash 3 point 1 at page 63, which is English ERA 0089827. One, and that would be towards the bottom of the page, Mr. Schamberg, only a, a, a single sentence. Quote, as the city turned into a ghostly shell, the insurgents took to claiming their spoils, looting shops and setting fires. Can I ask you... Uh, how many times you observe this uh, and where did you see it? I only saw the outcome. Uh, I saw the, the, the Khmer Rouge soldiers coming back uh, from the center of town uh, with uh, soft drinks. And other things from shops that they had broken into. And, uh, and there were people in the MMC, uh, officials, who were allowed to go into the city. But uh, they were not. And so people would come back and tell us what they saw. And so that's a, ref that's a reference that I did not personally see myself. myself. Thank you. When, when we were captured at the beginning of their arrival, the, uh, they took a typewriter and my watch and a radio. And, uh, and I, I did not protest because I was not going to be allowed. Okay, and, and just uh, while we're dealing with that particular moment in time while you were held, um, at page, page 68 to 69, um, you describe something that you saw uh, relates to, again, the issue of uh, people's possessions or, or being taken away. Um, again, this is the diary and page numbers 68 to 69, the ERN in English 00898 to 277. Quote, we watch jubilant soldiers passing by with truckloads of looted cloth, wine, liquor, cigarettes, and soft drinks. They scatter some of the booty to soldiers at the bridge. We also watch civilian refugees leaving the city in a steady stream. The soldiers take watches and radios from them. So just on that last point, uh, was that something you observed, uh, soldiers taking watches and radios from, from the refugees? And it was they were celebrating, they uh, were doing things to, uh, they, they would come close to us and hold out a soft drink and then come back to a very hot day and they would laugh at us and I can understand that kind of, kind of war was over and that they had won and so they were celebrating uh, so those, that looting and I didn't see any fires and there were times when we were inside when we could, we could hear things going on outside and we heard, we could hear uh, one of the soldiers would be the Khmer uh, Rouge soldier get into a car and try to get into a car and try to get into a car 
hay còn bài lan bắt tay như trong bắt tay cứ thà hiện cái máy của họ đang ở trên bài lan nữa thì khi ông đang được về cái này hay như vậy tạm bắt tay cứ thằng còn là chỉ là nó mà tay còn bắt chạy ở trên sao hay nó về được còn bắt chạy chạy nó cứ còn bắt bài bọc chèn kì We have limited time, and I want to get back to a lot of additional facts that I hope you can assist us with. Again, since we're discussing this this particular moment in time, while you were being held and what you were able to observe then, if I can follow up in relation to one of your answers yesterday, you described how Dithan got onto a motorcycle uh, with a uh, Khmer Rouge soldier or officer and went away for 20 to 30 minutes and then upon his return uh, you were released. Uh, do you know anything about uh, where he went um, and, and what happened there? ตามมีอะไรกัดล้างหรือเป็นกัดเตยหรือกัดเตยหรือเป็นกัดเตยหรือเป็นกัดเตยหรือเป็นกัดเตยหรือเป็นกัดเตยหรือเป็นกัดเ
Quote, they are like people from another planet, he says. Their thinking is completely foreign to ours. I told them that I'm at their disposal if they wish us to help. I said I had 42 experts waiting in Bangkok to come back and help. You know what they did? They laughed. They don't want our kind of help. I would help them if I could. But there's no way. Again, can I ask you first, was that a conversation you had with this gentleman? Those are my notes. Thank you. And as far as you are aware, from everything you observed, people you spoke to, and what you heard, were humanitarian agencies such as the Red Cross or the United Nations able to provide humanitarian assistance to evacuees at any time following the start of the evacuation? Thank you. These conversations took part during your, your stay at the embassy, of course, on the 18th of April. Around that time, uh, you also describe, a little bit later in time, but also while at the French Embassy, you describe some of the radio broadcasts you were able to hear. This takes us to page 104 of the diary, English ERM 00898312. It's a 4 p.m. entry. And you say the following, quote, Phnom Penh Radio announcing the results of a special national congress just held in the capital said the congress expressed the country's determination to struggle resolutely against any foreign interference in Cambodia's internal affairs, whether, is it, whether it is military, political, economic, social, diplomatic, or whether it takes on a so-called humanitarian form. Was that a broadcast that you listened to, or was it uh, translated for you, perhaps by someone who spoke to me? I don't remember actually listening to it, and I don't know what the merit to be that uh, uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to say that uh, I, told, I know I must have been told by somebody else. Thank you. In, in the passage we looked at earlier, uh, there was uh, a description of um, doctors being forced to leave Hotel Le Phnom. Um, I want to look at a couple of other uh, places that were apparently evacuated and that you described uh, in, in the diary again. Uh, so just starting at page 50 first of the diary, Apologize. this is page 82 in fact, page 82 of the diary, English ERN 00898290, it's a 19th of April entry, and it's at 6 p.m., you say the following, quote, the staff of Calmet Hospital, forced out by the insurgents, begins arriving at the embassy in a caravan of about a dozen full loaded cars, some of them packed with medicine. In the next paragraph, a nurse from the hospital says the insurgents ordered nearly all the patients out over the last two days. Those who could not walk, she said, were pushed up the streets on beds. 
She said, however, that the staff left behind some gravely wounded and newly operated persons who could not be moved in the hope that Khmer Rouge doctors would come and care for them. But we never saw any Khmer Rouge medical teams, only soldiers. Among those left behind were five badly malnourished infants. So if, if I understand that passage correctly, on the information you received, the, it appears to have taken a little bit longer to empty uh, or evacuate the Kalmet Hospital. This, this is an entry of the 19th of April. Would that be right? គេតបកលឹកមន្ទីរពេទ្យកាលម៉ែតគាត់នៅបន្តកាងាររបស់គាត់គ្រាមគិតថារដ្ឋាភិបាលបារាំងគេជួយដល់មន្ទីរពេទ
the mood of the city can now be seen changing. Government soldiers who had been embracing their conquerors a few hours before are now shedding their uniforms in fear all over town. Can I ask you to tell the court how you concluded that people were shedding their uniforms in fear? This information came from French embassy officials who were allowed to make excursions into the city to whatever find to find something in their homes and they wanted to take with them and so forth. And they would come back and tell us what they saw. So that was the judgment made or the descriptions given to why those uh, officers. Uh, uh, and the embassy officers. Uh, Thank you. Is there any other questions? Yes, I have one more question. Yes, I have one more question. Yes, I have one more question. You testified yesterday in relation to some of the senior officials of the Khmer Republic that the Khmer Rouge had made announcements uh, to the effect that they had been executed or killed. Uh, could you tell us which particular uh, Khmer Republic officials you recall being mentioned? Well, uh, I, I don't, I don't know uh, when each of these men were killed. All I was reporting was what to those uh, embassy officials, French embassy officials, told us uh, had happened. Uh, all I remember was that it was Long Boret was executed, and I'm trying to think of, uh, well, we know that Sirik Matak was executed, and I don't know uh, when or if the other names on, on the uh, list to be killed, but I'm, I'm guessing and it's not going to be a good guess, because they get away with very quickly. And they get away with very quickly. Thank you. At page 67 of the diary, English ERN 00898275, there are a number of bullet points, and the one that relates to three, the time of 3 p.m. Uh, contains the following. And I should say, in fairness, that I believe you are conveying information there that you received from others, but we can, we can verify that. Quote, in the afternoon, around 3 p.m., while I was preoccupied elsewhere, Having been arrested, Khmer Rouge troops, brandishing rockets and other weapons, forced their way into the neutral zone, the Hotel Le Nom. Their main mission seems to be a search for government military officers. And then you describe how nurses hid uh, an individual who was a Khmer Republic soldier. But if I can. Uh, simply ask you uh, how you received that information, who did you receive it from? There were people, uh, foreigners like myself, coming out of the hotel, uh, and we asked them what had happened, what was he leaving the hotel, and what were they leaving the hotel, and they told us that they had been given a half hour to get out and go to the French embassy, and I asked that, a particular Scandinavian official, and he said that was 25 minutes ago. So I rushed upstairs and I got the clothes and 
And just in relation to this observation that the main mission of the soldiers who had entered at around 3 p.m. was to search for government military officers, was that something you were told by people who, who were there? Thank you. I'm going to move on now to the events in the French Embassy, which we've already touched upon. Of course, yesterday, we, you described for us the surrender of Sirik Matak, which took place on the 20th of April. In that same period, you also described the uh, arrangements being made to remove from the embassy uh, all of the remaining Cambodians. And you describe starting at page 108, first the surrender of uh, identification documents for everybody who remained in the compound. Uh, apart from Sirik Matak and the group that had been surrendered. And then you move on to describe how babies were handed over to expat families and how marriages were arranged between Cambodian women and foreigners in order to enable these women to stay at the embassy. I'm, I'm, I'm summarizing information in about three or four pages in the interest of time. Can I ask you to describe for the court what you saw uh, in relation to these events? Uh, uh, Mr. Dirac, the, uh, the lead official in the embassy was using his to conduct marriages that you just described and helping people to who would normally not be allowed to go out to let them get out. And when Mayor Rouge found out that he had been doing that, not that they found out except they were watching radio con contacts with the Khmer Rouge told me he had to stop that. And so he did that. And he presided over some marriages of the Cambodians and the Cambodians can you describe what you saw uh, and, and, and observed in terms of the condition of these families uh, as they were being apparently forced to leave? Been a senior office, a senior person at the Telegraph Office and got to know and he and his wife had uh, she had just birth, baby. Uh, and asked if I would make a deposit. Um, he a, a, made a document giving me control over a, a bank account uh, uh, in, in the United and, uh, then, on the day that they were being, he and his wife and lots of other Cambodians were being herded, I was I was uh, in the center of it, and <coughs> saw the man and his wife and the baby. And she asked me 
Stray Pariano, Sue of Yum Taft to him. I joke on Yum Quater, the way I yum, 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 Mơ con nó đọc đồ này tới cái mà mơ tờ bà nội tê có bàn tay nia ri bà ráng đại nơi con nó còn đại nó còn bàn tập lứ hơi nhầm khơi thà cứ cứ kê rô cứ rô xa mùi cứ rô xa nâng khơi hỏi bà tòa mô cứ thà cứ rô xa đẹp bì nâng ạ đây bà con nâng bà hỏi câu nói dân trầy bà ràng rụng nụ hỏi nhóm có bà bà cô lùi đại bà rõ nâng dân trầy nụ cọc thảo nhóm dân trầy bà ràng nụ mượt hai tòa mô 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 had left. And this is at pages 87 to 88 of the book, starting at English ERN 008295, and the following page. You describe the entry of Khmer Rouge soldiers into the uh, compound, and I'll read it for you, quote, a few minutes later, three Khmer Rouge officers in black with pistols and notebooks guarded by two riflemen came into the embassy. The consul, Dirac, acts as their guide. They walk here and there with blank, unsmiling faces, looking at people closely, asking questions, making notes, and discussing things among themselves. A few Cambodians suddenly come out of the woodwork. One is a Kalmet hospital aide and walk up to the Khmer Rouge officers to try to plead that special circumstances warrant their stay in the embassy. Their appeals are ignored by the communists and they are pushed out of the embassy gate by French officials. Is that something that you observe personally, these uh, officers coming in uh, apparently to search for any remaining Cambodians? Thank you. In the book, The Killing Fields, E243.2, this is a, a, a document we looked at yesterday. At pages 70 to 71, there is a photograph. Uh, and I want to show it to you, see if that is a depiction of the scenes at the French Embassy. And Mr. President, with your permission, we will display this on the screen. The relevant ERN is 0086260. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. The, I should say, Mr. Rock, Mr. Schamberg, the photograph is attributed to, to Al Rokoff. Um, and if you can take a look at it and tell us whether that is a, a, a place that you can recognize. The copy of this that I have is very dark. It doesn't ring any bells for me. Very well. We will move on. The question is that 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 I'm going to ask you now a few more questions about um, your journey to Thailand. You, you touched on this yesterday. And
Can I ask you first? to describe for the court, if you recall, uh, how a number of Cambodians were uh, able to be smuggled onto the trucks, the first convoy that you left with on, on the morning of the 30th of April. Um, what is the question? Uh, it relates to uh, the boarding of the trucks uh, on, the, on the morning of the 30th of April um, and the smuggling, for want of a better word, of uh, three, I believe, Cambodian women um, in, in that process who were able to uh, leave with, with the rest of you in that first convoy. His first name is uh, What was his first name? That's fine, Mr. Mr. Schamberg. Bizo will, will suffice. You can, you can just uh, give us the account. He was helping looking after the load of our truck. It was five in the morning. Uh, it was dark. And, uh, មានការដឹកឡើងឲ្យមនុស្សឡើងជាឡានគឺ <coughs> And they said, well, that's too many, and they made them pull everybody from the, from the truck and start over again. And this time they did it more skillfully, and we had three or four people in our truck uh, getting out without permission. Uh, one was an American, uh, uh, pilot who was trapped uh, in alcoholic, and there were uh, two Cambodian women, uh, one of whom was apparently married to this uh, man. man. And there was also a woman and her daughter from one of the, the Russian, Russian colonies, colonies. And, uh, and I think that she was on the list. Thank you. And so I don't know if, he, I don't know if uh, Bizo uh, did that on many, on many trucks or not. But I know if we had, we had several ways of we, 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 we were glad to have them. Thank you. Now, we have limited time remaining, so um, if I can ask you to be as brief as you can, we're going to look at uh, the descriptions of what you saw on your way from Phnom Penh towards the, the Thai border. You want me to describe some of the things? I, I, I'll, I'll, take you, I'll take you to specific passages. Um, First, at page 109, English ERN 0089 you describe traveling down or I guess south on the Monibong Boulevard. You say the following quote, as we head down Phnom Penh's main thoroughfare, Monibong Boulevard, the city is an eerie sight. The street lights are on, casting their rays on spectral emptiness. Pieces of paper swirl around an occasional abandoned car. A shutter blows in the breeze. A dog trots across the road. A rat scurries through the gutter. But there are no people, no civilians, only Khmer Rouge soldiers. Some camp on the sidewalk, others in the shops, all of which have been broken into and looted their bent steel gates hanging askew. We talked about uh, looting earlier. Is this uh, image that you describe here of shops having been looted, is that something that you were able to observe while, while traveling along Monivong? 
นเป็นลกทัวร์ดำน้าตามมันนี้วงนู้นคือทางเคยมีการเฉาะพลอนนองหางฟองได้หรือยังไม่บานสลอยยังเคยโดยชนกฟองได้คือเคยมีการเฉาะพลอนนองหาง Thank you Now moving on to ดำน้าตามยาสมกุลเป็น The next part of your journey สมโจตดอลจำนวนมือเทียบแต่เป็นตอนนั้นดำน้าหรือบอลโลก This is at pages 114 to 115 English ERN 008982. You are at this point. You have you have arrived near a village called Livia in the Kampong Chenan province, and you were able to see some people and you say the following quote several people in the convoy speak Khmer so are able to talk to the residents quote the Vietnamese took 25 years to liberate their country we took only five one Khmer Rouge soldier living in the village said proudly Another soldier says that officers of the old regime above the rank of captain will have to spend three years in the rice fields being quote, processed, end of quote. Was that a conversation that you heard or witnessed personally with a soldier discussing what was to happen with officers of the old regime? ในยีปีศาจขมายบ้านหอยแต่ในยีจมวยนึงที่เห็นขมายกระห้องนี่เป็นลูกยังเคยทำเมียนลงไปเป็นเนี่ยตลอดหมอกปรับเมียนลงไ
I'm going to just refer to the other towns and cities that you, that you saw and ask you to confirm whether, whether these are images that you, that you saw yourself. Uh, first, Kampong Chnan City, then Pun Lei and Krakor, two more evacuated towns, and then Persat, also evacuated. Did you go through all of these cities or past all of these cities, and did you see them uh, to, to have been emptied of people? You also uh, describe or, or refer to Batambang and Poi Pet. Did you also go through or past those two cities and were you able to observe their condition? Occasionally we would see a cow or some animal in the field and no people as we went through the streets. Thank you. Uh, when you were going through Persat, this is at page 120, English ERN 008983283, at 1.40 p.m., you say the following, quote, in Persat, the scene is a repeat of all the other towns. No civilians, only soldiers. All the houses looted, in this case, smashed up a bit with cap -op. A local product broke, broken open and strewn everywhere. Half-finished meals sit on the tables in some houses. People obviously had to leave in a hurry. Again, for the record, are these images that you yourself observed while going through the sand? We sometimes are allowed to get, out of the, get off the trucks and stretch our legs. And perhaps this might be my last question. As you were going along the roads and you saw the empty towns, to the extent that you were able to look around, did you see where the populations of these cities had gone? Were they able to stay near the cities? Or were they able to stay near the roads? Were you able to see any of them? Thank you. Uh, I'm very grateful for your patience. I realize you're answering these questions late at night. Uh, I want to thank you on behalf of the Office of the Co-Prosecutors uh, for your patience and your efforts. Uh, and for making yourself available to the court. Your Honours, that concludes our questioning. And Mr President, with your leave, uh, we will hand the floor over to civil party lawyers. Thank you, Mr Chamber. เอ่อคือខ្ញុំពេញអង្គហើយនឹងលោកស្រីគ្រីស្ទីណាគ្រីស្ទីណាមាទីណូជាអ្នកលោកសំនួរសម្រាប់សាក់សីរុកនេះព
Bụ kê ní thật ta lục xong đau từ nẹ ná I'm sorry, I don't understand the question. Some of my talking about Joseph Nurbalo day. Look, Banjay Tapu, Cape Banpal, your ball, I bantaw. Look, no can be a project. Now look at a Benchet Bante, a book cane, a tapu cane, a chin at na. Referring to Jim Lai Kim Nijay, some men. ពួកអាមេរិកដែលពិភាក្សាជាមួយយោធាកម្ពុជាដោយពួកអាមេរិកគេផ្ដាល់យោបល់ដល់កម្ពុជាថាអាចបន្តទៅមុខទៀតខ
vous veniez pour votre journal, le, le New York Times. Est-ce que euh, vous avez, à ce moment-là, eu des informations euh, sur ce qui se passait dans le pays, c'est-à-dire à la fois euh, ce que faisait le gouvernement euh, de l'ONOL, mais également ce qui euh, se passait euh, dans le reste du pays et l'avancée en quelque sorte euh, des Khmer Rouges qui euh, avaient libéré au fil des années euh, une grande partie du pays. ដំសនីកម្ពុជាពេលខ្លះអាចផ្ដើមនៅការសម្ភារហើយប្រាប់ពួកយើងផងដែរឡសសវើហេវីអូរសូហ្វូត ໂຕຕ້ອຍຕ້ອຍຕ້ອຍຄືລັດຖະບານຂອງລົນນອນນູ້ຄືຄໍາອິນແລະ vous nous dites que vous avez pu circuler pendant un moment. Euh, C'était une question que j'allais vous poser. Euh, où avez-vous pu euh, aller euh, pendant ces, ces périodes avant, avant donc, euh, 75 Et euh, comment avez-vous perçu ce qui se passait euh, dans les zones euh, libérées Les informations que vous avez pu avoir sur... <coughs> ហើយបន្ថែមភូមិគេមិនទាន់ <coughs> 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 Ces informations euh, que vous avez pu euh, récupérer de cette façon, est-ce que euh, vous en avez récupéré aussi auprès de, de réfugiés qui avaient fui euh, les zones libérées et qui étaient euh, venus euh, à Phnom Penh Refugee camps in and around 
ហើយវាបង្ហាញច្បាស់ណាស់ថាខ្មែរក៏ហូមគឺ Cambodian government រដ្ឋាភិបាលកម្ពុជាគឺថារដ្ឋាភិបាលលោកនៅនឹងអាចជាជួបជ័យបាននោះទេគឺខ្ញុំគ្មានសុទ្ធិធិជំទាត់
Je vais euh, vous poser une autre question. Sur, parce que les, il semblerait que les informations que vous aviez étaient, étaient euh, un peu générales euh, et, et que euh, vous n'aviez pas... Euh, euh, effectivement, c'était sans doute difficile d'informations très directes dans la mesure où il semblerait qu'il était impossible pour vous et d'autres journalistes d'aller dans ces zones libérées. Alors, je reviens à Phnom Penh. Tout à l'heure, Monsieur le Procureur vous a parlé de, de l'hôtel où vous étiez, le Phnom. Euh, Est-ce que euh, vous pouvez nous préciser euh, comment avait été organisé, alors je ne sais pas s'il faut l'appeler infirmerie ou hôpital, euh, quelle était sa, sa capacité en quelque sorte euh, et comment euh, finalement vous l'avez constaté en revenant de, de cette journée euh, assez terrible euh, pour vous et, et, et vos camarades euh, Comment euh, euh, s'est retrouvé euh, anéanti euh, cet euh, endroit Pardon. Je parle du jour euh, bah, du 17 avril, quand vous revenez à l'hôtel et que, euh, à moins que je fasse une erreur, c'est bien le 17 avril, où là, euh, vous constatez qu'il euh, faut évacuer euh, l'hôtel. Il semblerait que dans cet hôtel ait été organisé une sorte de infirmerie, euh, semi-hôpital de, 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 de campagne. Et euh, est-ce que vous... Pouvez-nous en dire plus qui, euh, Combien de blessés euh, avaient été soignés qui, et, et comment, euh, finalement, euh, tout cela a été mis à néant well, my, my ពតែវាក៏ដូចជាការតំណាងជាមន្ទីរពេទ្យតំណាងលក្ខណៈតំណាងជាមន្ទីរពេទ្យ The really, uh, most of the, uh, uh, the victims of the war in much larger in hotels. គឺដាក់ណាគីរគេធ្វើគេចាំដឹងMerci. Vous avez euh, dans euh, votre livre, euh, et non pas dans votre journal, euh, alors nos références, c'est le 243.d, oui, E3, non, E243.2. Euh, vous avez euh, par moment écrit en duo euh, avec Dick Pran et euh, celui-ci euh, décrit les conditions dans lesquelles il avait vécu euh, sous les Khmer Rouges les conditions difficiles euh, les violences les mensonges 
la façon dont il a été traité et euh, la façon dont euh, ses compatriotes ont été traités. Euh, vous a-t-il euh, deux questions presque dans une euh, quand avez-vous entendu avez-vous entendu parler euh, de cette euh, qualification euh, des déportés euh, le peuple nouveau le 17 avril est-ce que vous l'aviez entendu quand vous étiez encore à l'ambassade ou est-ce que c'est euh, vous en a parlé par la suite ពេលដឹកព្រមចេញវាកាលៃនោះគឺគាត់ប្រាប់ខ្ញុំនៅពេលមានលម្អិតគឺថាខ្ញុំមិនអាចស្វែងរកឃើញថាតាម <coughs> ដូច្នេះហើយខ្ញុំមិនមានព័ត៌មានអ្វីពីគាត់នោះទេលហូតមកដល់ពីគាត់ <coughs> His real occupation. He pretended to simply be a. He got behind the car. He got let gang here. He got 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 And Pran, uh, as I say, he told me about I the Pran is not a man. Lorsqu'il vous a raconté son histoire, effectivement, elle était très euh, violente et elle a été, malheureusement, comme euh, beaucoup de celles d'autres euh, personnes du peuple nouveau, vous a-t-il dit qu'il y avait une, euh, une séparation entre ce peuple nouveau et le peuple de base Il a été traité, constaté que. Euh, les déportés euh, de Phnom Penh, puisqu'ils en faisaient partie, étaient traités autrement. Yeah. Yeah. Oui. Oui. ដែលខ្ញុំរកឃើញទូវ <coughs> I found out all of this later after the war. So I found out all of this later after the war. So I found out all ដែលជាច្រើនរបាយការណ៍ជាច្រើនគ្រាមបានឃើញរបាយការណ៍អំពីបកគោលដែលជាអតីតទាហានខ្មែរកោហ៊ុមដែលគេនិយាយថាគេ
ពកតណាស់ថាវាជាការប្រឡាច់ពុយសាស្ត្របើតាមនេះវាជាទស្សនាបរខ្ញុំផ្ទាល់ព្រោះតាំងទាំងអស់ដល់ខ្ញុំ